addition using shapes there are 27 birds in a lake let's write 27 using tens and ones remember students we have to use square for tens triangle for ones let's write Square for tens, triangle for ones. Now let's write twenty seven. Twenty seven means two tens and seven ones. Two tens, seven ones. We can also write. 27 as 2 squares that means 2 tens Seven triangles means seven ones. Now, eighteen more birds join them. So, let's write eighteen. Eighteen means one tens and eight ones. One tens, eight ones. Let's write eighteen using squares and triangles. One tens. So, one square. Eight ones. So, eight triangles. Eight triangles. So, how many birds all together? We have to find total number of birds. So, let's add them. Let us count number of triangles first. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Students, there are total fifteen triangles. Now, fifteen means one tens and five ones. So, Using these 10 triangles, I will make one more square. Now this means one more group of 10 birds. So now students, count and tell me, we are left with how many triangles? Count and tell me. Right, we are now left with 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 triangles. One, two, three, four, and five. Now let's count number of tens. That means squares. One, two, three, and four. So we have four squares. Four squares, five triangles. So there are total forty five birds altogether.
Let's solve it this way. We can say that 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. Now we know 15 means 1 tenths and 5 ones. So let's write 5 in ones column and 1 tenths carry forward in tenths column. Now let's add tens column. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Now we have 4 tens and 5 ones. So the number is 45. So there are now 45 birds all together. Now let us solve these examples. Square represents tens and triangle represents 1. 37 plus 44 is equal to how much? Let's count. Let's add ones first. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. Now 11 means 1 tens and 1 ones. So let's write 1 ones in ones column. Now 1 tens carry forward. Let's add tens. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 and 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So students, now we have 8 tens, 1 ones. So the number is 81. So 37 plus 44 is equal to 81. Let's solve this example. 65 plus 27 is equal to how much? Let's count. Let's add ones first. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. Now 12 means 1 tenths and 2 ones. So let's write 2 in ones column. And 1 tenths carry forward. Now tenths. 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. And 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. So now we have 9 tens and 2 ones. So the number is 92. 65 plus 27 is equal to 92. Students, now let's solve this example. Seema sold 38 bags in the market. Next day, she sold 19 more bags. So, how many bags did she sell all together? Let's solve this example using tens and ones method. We will use square for tens and A triangle for ones. Seema sold 38 bags. We can write 38 as 3 tens and 8 ones. So let's write 38. 3 tens. 8 ones. 
Next day, she sold 19 more bags. 19 means 1 tenths and 9 ones. 1 tenths, 9 ones. So, how many bags did she sell all together? We have to find total number of bags. So, we will add them. 38 plus 19 is equal to how much? Let's find out. Let us first add 1's. 8 plus 9 is 17. Now 17 means 1 tenths and 7 ones. So let's write 7 in ones column. 1 tenths carry forward. Now tenths. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. And 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So students, now we have 5 tens and 7 ones. So the number is 57. 38 plus 19 is equal to 57. So Seema sold altogether 57 bags in the market.